So we know that organizations are often faced with migration challenges. So an organization thinks that it's going to be really overwhelming or really time consuming. And today we essentially just want to put people at ease by addressing these concerns. So today I have with me Tom Shands, who is our senior technical consultant. And we'll be just doing a bit of a Q&A session. So when should organizations consider migrating? Are there any kind of indicators that organizations should be looking out for? Well, content management systems are good when you first procure them, right? But there is a point where potentially the content management system, the, the platform that you're on is really not fit for purpose for your ongoing business needs. So we've really got to look at uh, your future state, looking at six months, 12 months in advance. And we see common indicators in the content management system or a DXP potentially creaking under what it should be doing is your content governance is difficult. Your vendor may be coming and going, unable to support that solution long-term. Upgrades are becoming painful. Upgrades can take a year, if at all. And so there's some pretty clear indicators that your current system is not working for you. And it really, at that point, that's a really good time to, to start considering whether you should be on that system or, or look at a new one. Going into the actual migration, people often find this really daunting. They assume mm. that it's going to be a whole lot of manual copy and pasting. What is the reality? So copying and pasting always rings alarm bells. You, you don't want to be sitting there and copying and pasting for six months, especially in large organizations, governments and universities where there's potentially thousands and thousands of pages, right? So whenever we consider, okay, we're going to have to do something off that scale, then we have to automate that in some shape or form. Now, there has to be human eyes on that. We need to consider a cleanup of our content, how we migrate that appropriately. But we do have tools here at Squiz that enable us to do migrations programmatically, at least to get us to that 95% point over into the, a new platform, in this case, the DXP. Rest assured that having done migration projects for the last 15 to 20 years myself, and Squiz have got a long experience of doing this, that we optimize these processes as best we can and automate where we can to avoid that human effort, which is costly and time consuming, right? And I've heard it's great that we've got a tool called Transform, an automation tool that helps with the migration. Transform allows us to take content and convert it into the type of structure and content that the DXP requires. So that is generally talking about web content and moving web content over, over to our platform. So yes, transform is a key part of that automation process to migrate that content from A to B. And now let's talk about cost. So another major challenge for organizations, people just think that migrating an entire website is just going to cost too much money. I think you should look at the all of life of a platform. If you consider your upgrade costs, your governance costs, your inability for your content editors, your content teams, and your developers to develop going forward, then the cost of migration may pay all in comparison to the long-term value proposition and, and return on investment on replatforming. So don't just look at that as an isolated. Look four or five years into the future and say, have we got good governance? Have we got good relationships with our developers? Are we able to support our future needs? And consider those in your cost, because if you want your developers to be Self, self-sufficient and able to do things really easily, then the DXP is the place to be. Essentially investing now might save you money in the future. Absolutely. So might be better yeah. off. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially when those, those key indicators are, are red flags, right? Where it's costing you a lot to maintain your current system. That biting the bullet and in, in investing in a new platform might, might be key. What about downtime? Now, this is Another major concern for businesses like reputation, revenue-wise. So does migrating a website mean that users won't be able to access it? No, absolutely not. Squiz prides itself on our uptime guarantee. Part of a migration process from moving from one platform to the other it does not require any downtime. In our go live process, there is a effectively an instant switch from system A to system B. What if the migration process breaks things within the digital experience like links or maybe there's performance issues. We do widespread reporting across uh, all content. So clients will be given the migrated site uh, as early as we possibly can. We run multiple passes of the migration. So it's not just a one 
lift and and move we will run often that transform script multiple times in order to get it correct um, and tweak as necessary there's one other interesting uh, tool that we can use and that is uh, squiz search it can give us reports on broken links performance reading level content quality and many other things in the marketing dashboards it's really handy for us to use that as part of our migration process Awesome. Sounds like some great visibility. Now you're uh, done with the migration, let's say. The next thing people are worried about is actually using the platform. Sometimes it can be a bit costly to retrain new staff. That's one of the concerns that we talk about uh, a lot with our, with clients in terms of our offering at Squiz. We offer in-person training. We've got uh, a library of free learning resources as well as training pr programs. I'm also a really big advocate of finding an evangelist within an organization basically a trainer. So if we can find some, uh, a group of people or person who is really up to speed with the DXP capabilities, then we can empower them then to roll out training in an organization as well. So there's multiple ways of doing it, but we can support that. We've got a whole learning team ready to help and support learning efforts on the DXP. And then post migration, are there any kind of uh, metrics that organizations should be keeping an eye on? First of all, we want to look at uh, that return on investment that I talked about before. So that can be measured in multiple ways, but I would argue one really good measure of that is your productivity of your users. Are you, they finding that, that they can edit content, have governance and ownership over what they're doing and, and feel like they're not being blocked at every turn? Uh, how you measure those is interesting, but really we're looking at productivity and efficiency KPIs for individual contributors. We're also going to want to benchmark actual platform performance that you are not uh, dealing with downtime, that you're not dealing with broken integrations, that you're not dealing with all of those um, those things that can rear their ugly head um, for in a platform that's not not necessarily performing as as well as it should be. And how do you get started with a project like this? What is the first step? So there's an engaging with a technical consultant like myself here at Squiz is a really good step and our account management team and our services teams we really want to understand the landscape of your current content management system. So we're running workshops to understand any integration points, any pains with your current implementation, anything we need to know in terms of rebuild of functionality. When it comes to actually migrating a large content repository, I'm talking PDFs, documents, HTML documents, web pages, it's a good idea at this point to go through a content rationalization process. So we don't have to migrate over what we what we don't need to. There are tools that can help you to do this. So you can move your content into another, another system to rationalize and work on information architecture, and then we can pull it into the DXP in that way. There's multiple ways of doing that. So engaging with us so we can understand your integrations was one, and rationalizing your content is the second part of that.